What does an international team of 20 artists, scientists and journalists have in common? A trip to a desert island, the French Isle of Clipperton. Anxious, excited, excited, happy. Their destination is four miles wide, a dot in the Pacific, and a week's sail away from civilization. Their quest is to find out whether forgotten islands like Clipperton live up to our idea of paradise on Earth. But when they get there, reality's ugly faces everywhere, reefs obliterated by illegal fishing and beaches covered with litter. David thought he knew what to expect, but he is appalled by what he saw in Clipperton and shocked that human waste can spread to untouched lands in the middle of the ocean. It's not a good thing when a place that has no human presence at all has enormous human impact. Clipperton is 800 miles away from the nearest coast in Mexico, yet plastic is still scattered all over the island. And there's even rotting American ammunition, a leftover from the Second World War. Clipperton has those, has those little plastic bits all along the, where the wave like, brings it in and leaves it there. But then there's also just big trash, really big trash. Like, this chair, well not this chair, one of those chairs, a plastic chair, you know, you can find that there. You can find big barrels. You find, I think there was a truck there that was just decomposing. Once back on firm dry land, the team decides to raise public awareness. Their collective effort leads to documentaries, exhibitions and performances highlighting the issue. It's not just what was discovered there, but how we can communicate that in a positive way. Um, I, I often say that we're, I think we're engaged in a battle of ideas, and I think with the community that we've put together in terms of artists, scientists, reporters, photographers, that I think we can actually take a stand on this battle of ideas and change, change perceptions. And but their campaign is also a nudge to encourage public bodies to be more proactive in protecting their territories. I'm not advocating a, a human presence on the island, but I am advocating human custodianship, uh, man's custodianship of space that he The or devastation she has found managed. on Clipperton was an eye opener that kicked off a campaign to save the world's wonders. The team is now on a mission. A similar trip to South Georgia is planned for next year to save yet another island rumoured to be slowly decaying.